Today I'd like to share a fun tip I stumbled upon the other day, which is when we are in remote mode with the iProgram card, I was under the false assumption that all sliders and output input jacks were disabled. And that's true for the most part, but I just started going through methodically and found out that indeed even with the card in remote there's something coming out of the mod CV, there's something coming out of the envelope, and something out of the output of the inverter. Right now I'd like to just take a look at the envelope generator, or envelope detector, and if you create in the iPad for the iProgram card a rhythmic patch, in this case I'm using the pulser here, and you can see the patch there. It's a pretty simple patch. And then take the output and put it into the aux in so that it can read the envelope detector. Uh, what I'm going to play for you now is just the main quarter inch out of the uh, oops, of the main this is the not so interesting rhythmic repeating patch from the iProgram card. And as you can see, it's opening and closing the uh, LPG-1. And now if we flip that into high and take control voltage out of that and go to trigger A281E, we can see that And we can control the speed of the, let me grab something here, this, that speed by the speed of the pulser. What I found out is if you go too fast, the envelope detector stops reading it. So there's only a small window, but that window is useful. And if you go too fast, it's just, everything's off the charts here. Oops. So there we go. And you can make this sound a little more interesting by taking control voltage out of the mod oscillator CV and I'm putting it into this 259 that's making the sound you're hearing now. going. Change the envelope on that. Um, add some different frequency modulation. Change the rhythm up, which is reading the sequencer here. Okay, try different uh, shapes. Also, if this is too low, it, it stops triggering the envelope, so keep that uh, LPG-1 pretty high. And of course we can add in It's a simple patch, but there's lots of variety. You can send these control voltages anywhere. OK. 
Okay, so this is one way of synchronizing your other Buchla modules, or if you have converters, any other modules, be your rack surge, um, etc. Controlling it all from your easel and iProgram card. Okay, part two in a moment. In part two here, I'd like to just look at the mod CV out. Once again, the iProgram card is in, and we are in remote. And what I'm going to do is use this uh, CV out to clock a 281E. You can hear just the uh, easel CV out by raising this. There we go. And of course I can change its tempo by changing the frequency of the mod oscillator. So now if I take CV out of the physical easel into 281E, we get okay, and we can change the rate. And we can get all sorts of interesting rate changes by uh, putting the pulser in self mode having it trigger the sequencer and the sequencer change the pitch of the mod oscillator. Just give us a little throw there. Okay, I'm sure you can think of different places to send that control voltage. Of course, if you had also a rhythm patch coming from the envelope or from the pulser and being picked up by the envelope generator, that would also be active like in part one. Okay. Happy trails. <laughs>